Hello class, this is the first video covering activity 1.7 on page 82 in your textbook. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a system of equations and hopefully we will be able to solve that system uh, graphically. So let's take a look at our example. We have two companies. We're going to rent a truck. Uh, company one charges $54.95 per day plus 29 cents per mile. Company two charges $39.95 per day plus 49 cents per mile. So it says, okay, identify the input and the output in this situation. So I, I circled a few things, right? It says cost is a function of the number of miles. So if I let the letter C represent cost and N represent number of miles, in function notation, we could write this as follows. Right, so the word cost would be on the left side of my equal sign, right, is is the equal sign, right? Anytime you see the word is, you can write the equal sign. And anytime you see the words function of, you can write F of and then parentheses. And whatever comes after the word of, in this case, number of miles goes in the parentheses. So we remember from section 1.1 one, one, that it's output equals F of the input. So let me write that. Right, so since input's in parentheses, the n is per in parentheses. So when I'm asked what is the input and output, well, the input would be number of miles and the output would be cost. So even though the book did not ask us to write this in function notation, sometimes it helps to help uh, identify the input and the output. Okay, so there's my input and my output. Uh, so now we have to write an equation to determine the total cost of renting from company one. So if you think about it, the cost is going to be equal to the $54.95 plus 29 cents for every mile. So if N represents number of miles, we can write uh, the following relationship. Okay, and, and you know, this, this reminds me of the Y equals MX plus b, right? This is the equation of a line. Um, you know, it looks a little bit different. Instead of the letter y, we use c. Instead of the letter n, we use the letter x. And, you know, the order doesn't matter, right? I, I could actually rewrite our cost equation to look something like this. Uh, c equals 0 0.29 n plus 54.95. Right, so either of these would, would work for us, right? This equation is correct, this equation over here is correct. I just switched the order uh, to make it look more like y equals mx plus b. So now we can quickly say, oh, the slope is the 0 0.29, and the b or the y-intercept is the 54.95. And for the second equation, it looks like it's 39.95 a day plus 49 cents per mile. So c would equal... Um, and I'm going to write it in the proper order, 49 times n plus 39.95. And again, the order doesn't matter here, as long as the n is attached to that 49 cents. Okay, so our slope here is 49 cents and the slope here is 29 cents. If we were to graph both of these, I would expect this to be a steeper line uh, because my slope is bigger. Next, we're asked to complete a table. Now, my table was missing the word, so I just typed in number of miles and company one. Now, to fill in this table, we have the option of substituting in zero to each of these equations and then writing the answer, and then substituting in 10 to each of these equations and writing the answer. But a quicker way would be to use our graphing calculator. So here's my calculator, and I am going to enter my equations. So I will do uh, y equals. Now I know our, our book says c, um, but we're going to use y for c and x for n. So uh, I will type in 0.29x plus 54.95 That's my first equation. And my second equation was the 49x plus 39.95. All right, so there are my two equations, and I see I made a mistake already. Uh, I'm missing the decimal point in front of the 4. So here it is. Okay, so I have two equations. Great. Now, I want to complete this table 
So the easiest way to do it would be create a table on our calculator. If you look above window, it says table set. Because uh, my, my, my numbers seem to be increasing by 10. Uh, oh, actually, I see there's a 5 here. So maybe I'm going to press second and window. Because above window, it says table set. I want to set up my table. And I want my table to begin at 0. And I want to count by 5s. If you count by 10s, that's fine. But you're going to miss the, the 75 right, because you're going to go from 70 to 80. Uh, next, I want to actually see my table, so I'll press second and graph. And now you can complete your table. I'm just going to try and squeeze my calculator in. And uh, I'm not going to type in all of the values. Um, oops, I lost my calculator. There it is. Uh, but you know, for zero, I'm going to put in the 54.95 and 39.95 and so on. So give me a moment to complete the table. Okay, I think I've entered everything, right? So again, the values from my calculator, uh, that's what I use to populate these values uh, on my table. And you'll notice uh, for the number of miles, anything below 70, it looks like company two is cheaper, right? If I go zero miles, company one's 54 versus 39. If I travel 40 miles, company one is 66 dollars versus 59. But then if you look at 75 miles, their company one or company two costs the same amount. And then when I get to 80 miles, all of a sudden company two is more expensive. So it looks like if my trip was less than 75 miles, uh, I would probably take company two, or I'd rent from company two because it's cheaper. And then anything over 75 miles, it looks like company one becomes cheaper. So um, for part B where it says, what mileage is the one day rental the same? I would say 75 miles. Oops. And when it says, which company should you choose? I guess it depends on how far, on how, far you plan to travel right again if you travel less than 75 miles company two is cheaper and if you travel greater than 75 miles it looks like company one is going to be cheaper right 78 versus 79 right so this really depends on how far uh, you plan to travel now it says we should graph this okay so we already have the equations in our y1 and y2 and they help us out with the window. They say for n is between 0 and 120. So if I press the window key, I'm going to start at 0 and go to 120. All right? So it first says between 0 and 120. Um, and I guess I could count by tens. That would give me 10, uh, 12 tick marks, right? So I'm going to count the increments of 10. That's what this X scale does for me. And now for the Y min and Y max, you have to think about this, right? Y minimum would be $0. Y maximum, well, if you look at your table, if you travel 80 uh, miles, you're going to pay $79. So if Y rec re uh, represents the maximum value, my Y max should be at least bigger than 80. Uh, I'm, I'm going to enter uh, 100. And maybe I'll count by tens on the Y scale. And then when you're done, press the graph key. Okay. That's a relatively decent looking graph. So that's if you want to sketch a quick graph in here, you could, you know, you could count by tens. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Picasso, but, uh, you know, it's up to you. I probably will not force you to um, sketch a graph on any of my assessments. You know, just getting it in your calculator is good enough for me. Part B, it says determine the point where the lines intersect. Okay, so to find an intersection on your calculator, if you press second, above trace, it says calc, because I want to calculate the intersection. Number five for intersection, it says first curve. Well, we only have two curves, so I can press enter. Second curve, again, we only have two curves, so I press enter. It says, guess, where do you think the intersection is, right? So well, there's only one intersection. I can press enter. And it says, okay, there's an intersection at 75, 76.7, which we knew from this problem, right, from the table, right? 75 miles, uh, the lines are going to intersect at 76.7. 
So just think about interpreting what we've just seen. Um, if you travel 75 miles, the cost of company one and company two will be $76.70. Uh, by the way, on a test, if you were to provide this as an answer, I would actually want you to just do a rough sketch and label the intersection, okay? So I filled in our answer here, okay? If we scroll down a little bit, we get a definition. Uh, a two by two system of linear equations, right? Looks something like this. Uh, there's a solution that exists if the ordered pair makes both equations true. So this ordered pair 75 comma 76, 70. If we were to place 75 in for N, we should receive a cost of $76.70. If I were to place 75 miles in for company two, I'm still going to receive the answer of 7670. All right, so our system of equations would be these two equations, and we've just solved them graphically by finding the intersection. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, and I'll post another video to continue with this uh, activity. Thank you for watching.